Hey there, sign of Pisces. My name is Kim, and I'll do your reading for the weekly, February 8th through the 12th. Um, and then after that, I will have a Valentine's Day reading out. So thank you all so much for your likes, your comments, um, shares. Thank you for subscribing. Please do subscribe if you haven't. Um, so we always start our readings by calling in the divine white light to surround us as we do the reading and you as you're watching this reading, calling in Pisces, angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power, give us messages that are for the greater good only of our sign Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's get going. This is the archetype deck. Like I said, we'll start off with this and then a tarot spread and then a few more oracles. What do we have? What do we have for Pisces? Some of the readings have been a little heavy, so a little heavy. Hope yours, you know, oh good, yours is a little bit lighter. Ooh, Starborn. Oh wow, yours is really good. The Starborn and the Castle. Man. Okay, so the castle, it's your fortress, your penthouse, getting your riches, everything that you desire. Starborn, perhaps even being famous, being in an influencer type situation, could be talking about an Aquarius. But this person is usually also talking about people that are born um, and maybe before this life. They might have been like in another star system, maybe from... Um, you know, what they call star seeds. That's right, star seeds. So the castle, just don't get sucked up into the deception of materialism with the castle card. Just fair warning for that. So let's get a couple of these spell casting cards for you, Pisces, for the middle part right here for the week. And there's two immediately coming out for you. We have healing, wow, and empowerment. Huh. Maybe there's something in a career that you could do that has to do with healing. With healing others, perhaps. Or there is some kind of healing coming from the stars for you. Maybe from star seed, maybe something like that. Travel on the bottom travel and we have stars out for the travel card too then we have empowerment this card is basically saying you're gonna feel very empowered especially when you can you know have pretty much whatever you're wanting from this card this card suggests that you are sitting pretty we're going to be sitting pretty so let's get wisdom from the oracle oh nice peace we have peace. All right. Well, now we'll do your tarot spread. Moving right along. Peace is, this card comes out when that is the inner you that's manifesting peace. And that's what the, um, you know, dove is symbolizing here. And then when I see those individual feathers like that, I think of your angels. So, and a star, right? And then another star. Hmm. Let's get some cards now for Pisces. Uh, let's do the issue card first. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow. So, harmonious relationship. This can be any kind of relationship with the Two of Cups. It can be, it can be healing an old relationship. It can be healing for your soul and your heart with a relationship. There's a harmonious partnership here. It can be with your career, too, and empowerment through this harmonious partnership. What is the challenge? What either moves you um, forward or keeps you from moving forward? The challenge, the king of wands gotten this from somebody else too so maybe there's something that you need to start so you can finish it um from start to finish king of wands is a masculine energy the yang energy so we're all about action we're all he starts he finishes whatever he starts this is the person who builds stuff who builds things um and, and definitely has what he has you know is 
it's because he's bold. It's because he's not afraid to start things. And he has very, um, a lot of wisdom about that. Can give advice to you on how, what is the process, the action uh, for what he's doing. This King of Wands might be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Let's look in the past position. Temperance. So in the past position, you had to wait for some divine timing. Divine timing. And this is card of Sagittarius too. So Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and then, you know, Sagittarius again. So temperance is about, and it's also about something that you maybe thought wasn't going to happen is happening. And maybe that has to do with this healing. Let's see what the future position is. Ooh, nice. Divine timing for your Ace of Cups. A big portal from the universe or pathway that leads to your emotional fulfillment, your happiness. Something that gives you, that's going to be a beginning, a new start of a harmonious partnership in something. In the, either your career, like I said, or a relationship. Hmm. All right. Help you get out of your head. What is spirit advice for Pisces. Page of Wands. All right. And Queen of Pentacles. Maybe having a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, Queen of Pentacles is that yin, feminine energy, waiting to receive. So it's like being in receiving mode, if you've heard of that. Um, with your manifestation, being in receiving, waiting to receive, passive action, intuition. Page of Wands, so the advice from Spirit is to let you know that there will be good news coming to you. This is my good news card. It can be talking about a child, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, getting along, but it, it, it's also a new beginning. So it's an inspirational new start that is offered by the Ace of Cups. It's something. It's brand new and um, it's really good. This is good news for you. All right, let's do our tea leaves. Really happy that yours is ending on a, well, not ending, but it, that yours is a happy note throughout your whole reading because you're not, you're, you're one of few <laughs> that this week is going to be good for. All right, so boat, inheritance, or winning. There's a... Um, the windfall of money boat right there on divine timing. Months of the year I have September for something. Maybe last September. And then right on the castle we have coins. Money will be coming to you. Maybe that's the gift of love. That would definitely be a gift of love. March for somebody that needed that. Maybe that's when the coins are coming. Kangaroo, unsettled times need to plan ahead. That's the only thing. These two are the only things that we've got to kind of look out for. Ink pot, problems to be resolved, don't we all? And need to plan ahead. Something that we need to plan ahead for. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Sending love and light out to you all. Thanks, Pisces. Bye.